So a company named Rhonda reached out and said, Charlie, would you review these lights? And I said, you know what? Um, I already have. Uh, I re previously reviewed model MSL11. This is MSL2. It's just a different model. If you're curious about the unboxing, everything about what's inside this is identical to this unboxing. I'll leave a link up here. Uh, the only difference is these lights are a little bit smaller, about 30% smaller than the MSL11 model. So I decided what I would do with these because there's really a, a very minute change between these lights and the lights I've already reviewed. Um, I thought I would do something special. So in the re unboxing and the review episode, I said this. Got the music cranking, whatever, these bad boys will change according to the sound that they hear. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it. How cool is that folks? Where I'm gonna use these at, I'm telling you right now, is in wearable Christmas lights because these are powered with a USB cable. I can plug these bad boys in plug this right into a cell phone battery, an external cell phone battery do these up as wearable Christmas lights. So now it's time to make that come to fruition. It's time to make wearable Christmas lights. How in the world am I gonna do it? Let me show you. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Got a ton of shout outs. I'm getting backed up on shout outs. I have a lot of folks who have sent in videos and still photographs of their holiday display. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see if something they did in their show inspires you to do something in your show. Quick announcement, we have a brand new addition to the Christmas on Crestline family. That's right. If you look at the top of this YouTube page for the Christmas on Crestline YouTube page, we now have an Amazon store. Uh, that's right, Amazon has chosen us to have our own storefront on their page. So you can click on the link up in our banner, or you can also click on the link down in the video's description below, whichever you want. But it is a list of tools and gadgets and things that I use for my show and that I wear when I put up my show. And just a bunch of neat fun things and stuff you seriously do need to use when you do your Christmas light show. So check us out on Amazon. It is an affiliated page, so if you buy something on that page, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps support the show. What do you really need to make wearable Christmas lights? Well, it's easy. You need everything that came in the box. You need an external cell phone charger, external charger that takes a USB port, and you need an old pair of jeans you don't mind destroying. This is what mine looks like. time to set these up to Google Assistant or to Alexa, you're more than welcome. You can do that through the app. Uh, for what I'm using them for, for wearable Christmas lights, all you really need is the built-in remote that's already built into the cord. I'm going to take this and uh, this is the, the RF connector. This is the radio frequency connector. If you do use the remote, you have to have this um, exposed so the remote can get the signal to this uh, port. But all I'm really going to use is plug the uh, power adapter into there plug this USB into my external charger, and boom, these are already set up to talk. So every time I talk, these will light up. These are motion activated. For the music portion to work, you simply select the music button on the uh, remote, and that allows, it's addictive, I'm sorry, it's fun talking to you folks while they're going on. Um, that allows any external sound to be uh, picked up by this mic that's built in right here. So any music you have or any talking will need to be picked up by the microphone right there. Uh, but these are dang neat and all me unplug these because it's getting a little distracting for me and I'm certain it probably is for you too. Uh, but show you real quick how I did this is it's real simple to stitch these right into the, uh, ex the outside, the external portion of the jeans. Um, I wanted to do the outs outline of my leg. Um, I thought about putting these on the inside um, and only having the bulbs exposed. But in doing that, when I put the pants on, there was a likelihood that I was gonna catch these and pull them out. Um, so that didn't really work out too well as an option. 
but these are a huge huge hit i wore these for halloween as at our house we give out jello shots to the parents that are walking not driving we give out full-size candy bars and full-size cans of pringles to the trick-or-treaters and i wore this around um, the neighborhood and it was a huge hit i plan on wearing these around as well during our christmas light show this year um, it's fun and it makes for an amazing conversation piece um, again, I'll leave links down to uh, these lights in our Amazon store. So you can go to our Amazon store and get those there. And uh, check out the actual link down in the video's description as well. But these are a huge hit. If you, have, uh, if you don't know how to sew, don't have a sewing machine, don't have a mother-in-law or father-in-law who owns a sewing machine, um, go to a seamstress. You can go to alterations by insert name. We have 30 of them here in our town. Alterations by Sarah is one that is uh, probably one of the bigger ones in our town. And this right here, I called a few alteration shops and they said the most expensive was $7 to sew this. So most of them said, ah, it's no big deal, it's for Christmas, I'll, I'll do it for free. I'm like, no, what would you charge if it was April? She goes, that, this is about 20 minutes of work, seven, eight dollars, whatever. I'm like, okay, well, I, just, I wanted a price to be able to tell you folks what it is in our market. But yeah, you can go to a seamstress and get this done. It took the gal that did it for me not very long at all. Uh, the, uh, the problem was getting these nice and tight on the end. So they're dang neat. I highly recommend you try them. First shout out today goes to Scott P. Scott P is a great friend of the show. He is always sitting in photographs of what he does. This year, here's pictures of his Halloween display. If you'll notice, Scott always does an amazing job of color palette matching. His, his Palette always is awesome, whether it be for Halloween, Christmas, 4th of July, Memorial Day, Easter, uh, St. Patrick's Day, St. Valentine's Day, you name it. He always does an amazing job. If you're curious about those floodlights, those are the Nova Silla floodlights, the same ones we use and the same ones we have up on our Amazon storefront. You can check them out there if you want to do what Scott did. Next are Halloween photographs from a show called Lights and Lights. This is not just a great name for a light show. Uh, here's what Lights and Lights did for their Halloween display. You'll notice that they have a, a blow up in addition to use of some floodlights and some rope lights. Did a, did a fun job there. So thanks so much for sending in those Halloween photographs to us. Next up, we have our newest Patreon member, Melanie Menard. Melanie Menard came on as a $5 a month supporter in addition to starting to earn free merch, in addition to getting her name at the end of every single video, with the addition to shorts, there's not enough time to put it in screen and into shorts, uh, but in addition to having her name at the end of every video, she's a $5 a month supporter. That means she gets her name shouted out loud. Melanie Menard! Melanie Menard! Thanks so much for being a supporter of Christmas on Crestline. If you would like to support Christmas on Crestline, if you want to see your name at the end of every video, go to patreon.com, the link's down below, and become a member of the Christmas on Crestline family. You'll get a weekly behind the scenes video from me. Every week, I started that this holiday season, every week from now until perpetuity, um, I will do a behind the scenes video of what I got going on that week, what I'm working on, what I'm building, what problems did I come across and how did I fix them or just having a chit chat with my Patreon subscribers. But yeah, check us out on patreon.com. Uh, if you want to support the show, you can go to our Teespring page, Christmas on Crestline. You can go to our Super Thanks, which is right next to that thumbs up button. Uh, but yeah, you can get our merch from now until the end of the year. COC 2021 is the discount code to use for all free shipping on all of our merchandise. So yeah. Uh, kind of some neat things. If you want our Christmas on Crestline Christmas ornaments, you can $10 a piece. You can come to uh, Christmas on Crestline at gmail.com and order those. See if I can get that to stand up. It's okay. Um, but yeah, if you want to support the show, it's greatly appreciated. Melanie, thank you so much for being our newest Patreon member. Um, I'm Charlie. These are dang neat. I'm telling you right now, they get addictive when you start wearing them because you just start wearing them around the house. So they're neat as all get out and they are a definite conversation piece. Uh, if you have a holiday party you're going to, these are easy to wear and easy to make. If you have a white elephant party, a Christmas party, and you want to stand out in addition to the ugly sweater crowd, this is exactly how you do that. I'm Charlie. I'll see you in the next video.
it's got a bunch of different modes you can do too in addition to just talking to them you can be walking down the street and they can be doing all sorts of different things pretty neat and a little addictive i might add